Now, if you're like me and you love fishing in the estuary, then you want to make sure you've got the perfect rod and reel combo to target anything that comes your way, whether that be a brim, whiting, a flat and a tailor, or if you're lucky enough, even a mull away. So here's a bit of a guide as to uh, how to pick the right reel to match your rod next time you're buying a new combo in the tackle stop. Right, so the lightest rod you're ever gonna need to buy is a one to three kilo rod. And that's probably gonna be something you're really only gonna use for brim, maybe whiting on the flat, or if you're targeting things like pike in and amongst the weed beds. It's quite a light rod and you're not, you don't have a lot of purchase on when you're fighting a fish. But if you're gonna use a rod like that, then you need to make sure that the reel you're using doesn't outweigh the rod. So as a rule of thumb, a one to three kilo rod, you wanna be using a two or 1,000 size reel. It's quite small, doesn't have a lot of line on it, but the fish you're targeting aren't gonna pull a lot of string. Now, as we step up in rod and you go to a two to four kilo rod, then you want to step up in reel size to a two and a half thousand size reel. For me, that is the ultimate estuary combo. You can target everything from flathead to mulloway to small kingfish if you're lucky enough to hook one. Now, whilst you might be fighting them for a while, hey, that's the fun part, you will still land that fish, I promise. So if you're unsure on what this all means, the four in the two to four refers to how much power you have in this end of the rod how much weight you can really pull back when that rod is at its full capacity. The two refers to how light it is up this end of the rod, how sensitive is the rod up here. So that's just a bit of information for you if you don't know what those, if the, what those numbers mean rather. Now as we keep going, three to five kilo rod is probably gonna be the perfect Mulloway estuary rod. It's got a bit more power, it's a little bit heavier, and you can throw those bigger lures like those soft vibes. It also means that if you hook a nice fish, then you're gonna have more purchase on it. What that means, however, if you're gonna use one of them, you need to step up in reel size. So now we're probably looking at a three to 4,000 size reel. The beauty of that is you can fit more line on it. So if you're lucky enough one day to hook a mulloway and it screams down the estuary and you've got to chase it, you don't have to worry about getting down to your backing. So it's a good thing to note, when you're going into your tackle shop and you're buying a new rod and reel combo, make sure you ask the guys at the counter whether or not your reel is matched to your rod. Because if you get it wrong, it can mean it's unbalanced and makes for a pretty uncomfortable day out on the water. <laughs>